I want to make a dictionary of squares. That's easy enough. S for squares equals curlies 5 colon 25 and 25 square of that is 625. Like so. But now I want to make a another dictionary, the square root dictionary, which is basically the opposite of this. I'll say 25 and then 5, and then 625, and its square root, 25. Well, if there's only two of them here, that's not a problem. You can key that in yourself. But if you've got thousands of them, that's a problem. So, we can get a little bit smart. This is how we do it. SR, square root, equals the following. Open curlies. And I'm going to... Uh, key in something rather unique here. Now first I'm going to refer to that 5 as x, the 25 as y. The key is x, the value is 25. Key is 25, x is 25, y is 625, x, y, like that key value. Now I want that for each x, y pair in the s Array. Well, what would you call these guys over here? They're they're paired together. They're ah, they're an item. So let's call them an item because that's what they're actually called. In the s dot items, items consisting of an x y pair. This is what I want you to do. I want you to return for each one of those. Return. For each x, y, return y colon x. Just like that. Except, well, we don't have to say return. In fact, you shouldn't say return. But that's what you're doing. It gets here, and it returns 25, 5 to here. It comes over to this item, and it returns 625 colon 25 to here. Ah, so for each one of these XY pairs in S, each one of those items, XY items, return, return them in this order, Y colon X. Return it to here. Okay, here we go. I hit enter, SR, and ooh, blah, blah, it worked. 625, 25, 25, 5. Wow. Oh, by the by, what do you call this? This is called the Dictionary Comprehension. I'm George Bull. Please share and rate this video by clicking on the like button. And I wish you lots of luck. Bye-bye now.